Hey everyone, it's Mr. G, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a square programmatically. So the only thing I've done so far is I've added a pencil sprite to the project. Uh, but I need to do one thing before I actually begin drawing, the, drawing a shape. Um, I'm going to go over to the Costumes palette, and I'm going to highlight everything that represents this pencil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the tip of the pencil is the center of the sprite. Um, and I'm doing this so that when I do draw a sprite or draw any shape or line or anything like that, everything is going to look like it's coming from the tip of the pencil. So that's the only reason I'm doing this. Otherwise, it's going to come from the center of the pencil and it's not going to look right. So now that I've done that, I'm going to delete my second pencil costume because I don't need it. I'm going to go over to my code uh, programming area. So now in order to draw anything, I have to bring in the pen functionality. So I'm going to go over to my extensions in the bottom left, and I'm going to bring in the pen. And now what I can do is I could actually put the pen down and start moving the sprite, and it will draw lines. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's bring this in. I'm going to put the pen down. I'm going to also bring in pen up because I want to be able to lift up the pencil or lift up the pen once I'm done drawing something. Uh, I'm going to br also bring in the erase all block because that's going to let me clear my stage from any lines that I've drawn. And let's see, is there anything else that I want to actually use? No, for, for this video, I'm just going to draw one shape, draw one square and that's it. Okay, so now to draw a square, let's see, let me go over to the motion palette. And to draw a square, I want to be able to move the, the sprite over a certain number of pixels, then turn to the right. Then move, then turn to the right. Move, then turn to the right. Move, then turn to the right. So I'm gonna do that four times. So I wanna be able to move a certain number of steps, and then I'm gonna turn and do a right angle. So that turn is going to be 90 degrees. And if I do this just once, so let me, uh, let me actually click this so you can see what happens. I just draw one line, and this line is very tiny. Um, so what I want to do is actually, let's make this line a little bit bigger. Let's make it a hundred steps. So now if I click on this, it's going to draw a line going down 100 steps. Uh, and if we do it again, you know, we draw another line, do it one more time and then do it the final time to get the entire square. So we have to repeat this process four times. So I could, I could copy this, these two lines of code four times, or I can go into my control palette and just repeat this four times. There we go. And this is how I could draw a square. So let me just erase everything we have so far. And let me run this script. Actually, let me connect the pen up because you know I wanna lift up my pencil once I'm done drawing the square. And there you go, now we have a square. Okay, so now what I can do is if I wanted to draw multiple squares, I mean, I could duplicate this and use this multiple times, or I can create my own block because now it's actually a much better idea. If I'm gonna reuse code that I've created in other areas, I'm going to go over to my blocks and I'm going to make my own block. So let's make this block and let's call this the draw square block. Okay. So now that I can define what draw square is, I'm going to put all of this code and connect it to the definition. And now instead of using all the code that's inside of this script, I can just use draw square wherever I need it or wherever I want. So for example, um, I could, you know, when the green flag is clicked, I can just draw a square. Actually, let me erase all first and then draw the square. So when I hit the green flag, you can see that it draws a brand new square. Uh, if I move the pencil over and I click the green flag, it clears everything and then draws the square wherever it's touching. Okay, so this works. This is, uh, this is good for now. But now I want to go a little bit further. Now I actually want to draw a square, but maybe not draw the same exact square every single time. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to modify this draw square block so a user can use it and customize it to their own liking. 